Hello there everyone. This is Mr. Daryl Del Mundo from Cayetano Aureliano High School and I am from Group 4 as well in Elite Training Program and this is what my icebreaker is all about. So I originally created it by combining different icebreakers that I already encountered and this is entitled Mensahe mo i-spell ko. So be careful what you pass for. And actually, this is a combination of kind of relating and at the same time pass the message, but this time with a twist, okay, with a little bit of intellectual uh, integration on this part. So to uh, show you the mechanics of the game, so I prepared two. I have face-to-face -face mode, and the other one is the virtual mode. So, so that we can uh, have the alternative one. If we cannot meet face to face, then we will be having our virtual conference or virtual mode. Okay, so in face to face mode, first, all you have to do is to form a group of five. Okay, five members rather. And uh, after that, you need to assign who will be the leader. And the leader will rotate within the group. Is that clear? So uh, if this one, if this member becomes the leader, then the other members will become the leaders for the next time or for the next round. Then number three, the leader will be the source of question, random and thematic. So uh, the questions, it can be in different categories. Is that clear? So uh, whatever team they have, whatever uh, event, kind of event they have, it depends. So uh, the leader will be the source of the question. So it depends upon the leader if he's going to pass the message okay, as a question or he will pass or he or she will pass the message in a form of answer. It depends. Okay, then right after that, number four, the four members facing their back will receive the message and pass it one by one by tapping the shoulder after receiving the message. So they are about face to the leader. So one by one, or the leader will tap first, the first person, okay? Then after that, he will pass the message. Then that person will pass the message to the next person by tapping his or her shoulder. Then last, the last member of the line will be the one who will answer. Okay. If the question is being passed from one person to another, the last person must the the one who will answer it okay so as the message is being passed by one person to another you should have that answer already so but if your leader pass the answer immediately then that's very good the number six the answer will be spelled and this is the twist using different objects in their bugs it can be english or tagalog it's okay of different objects remember that different objects okay of the first letters of uh, first letters of the answer so for example the answer is ball so you will find that different things that starts with letter b a l and l for example you have ball pen for letter b okay so you will show it letter a for example you have uh Letter A, you have apple inside your bag, or you have, um, or you can have aspile inside your bag. So that's letter A. Then letter L, you have lapis. Okay, that's letter L. And then another letter, another letter L is uh, lasso or the ribbon. Sa tagalog na ribbon is lasso. Uh, you have that uh, different objects to spell the word ball. Okay, then you will be the winner. And of course, the one who will, uh, the group who will be the one that uh, finish it first or the one who can get the answer first. Race to five or race to three, it depends. So the group will be the winner. And that's for the face-to-face -face mode. So for the virtual mode, in this case, for example, we're using Zoom conference. 
it's almost the same with the face to face the first part so if you are in a group with five members that's okay it can be four ten and uh, so on the number two assign who will be the leader so we need also the leader again this is rotation and number three the leader will be the source of the question that was from the host so we know that uh, some virtual conferences or some uh, webinars we have host or sometimes moderator they will be the source of the question okay so same as with the face-to-face -face mode it can be random or thematic again so for example it's all about christmas okay and uh, this time for example uh about a lead training program something like that so all of the questions or the answers are all related to that theme or topic is that clear then number four the members will dm or direct message each other so this is 10 seconds only so all you have to do is to maximize that time so then right after that number five the members should prepare all the things that can be found at home since you are inside your houses or you are inside your office that's okay so for you to spell the answer using the first letters of the objects gathered so same as with that if you if the answer for example is cat you need to find the objects that starts with letter c a and t for an instance you can uh, see uh comb okay it's for letter c but not cutter okay so we need to be careful do not uh, gather or do not get the things that is very sharp and it can be hard is that clear then right after that letter a so you need to find an object that starts with letter a Am I clear and then letter t you need to find an object that starts with letter t inside your house okay then right after that number six show the objects to the camera as you spell the answer okay this is per group then number seven the fastest group will be the winner so you have a timer for this one and that's all about mensahe mo spell ko and that is the icebreaker that i have and thank you for listening i hope you learned something for today and you will apply this one soon in different video conferences or face-to-face -face mode gatherings. Thank you, this is your teacher, Daryl Del Mundo, signing off.